grin on that guy's face. Uh, none of these names mean anything to me. Which could be good, could be bad. I mean, that looks like a a um, a range for an arrow um, token thing. I mean, that's pretty. Uh, well, the mainstream team person has to think it's uh, Thomas. I think so. I mean, it's the souls like, so probably can. I'm so glad I've reduced the volume for OBS because fucking hell. It's size like medium, font style, default, center. Okay, that's kind of cool. Subtitle names, doesn't really matter. Color by mode doesn't. Nope. Screen shake, yeah, might as well. Also switch target, yes. Vibration, yes. Gameplay assists, no. Okay. Oh, auto combat, auto fields, auto counter, auto rapture finisher. Okay. This intro looks like a fusion of Berserk, Dark Souls, and Final Fantasy. Mm, nice. We enable the inventory to remain open without holding its input, pressing once again to close it. Yeah, I would kind of rather have that. Inventory pause. We enable open inventory to pause the game. I will take that mostly because it's nice to be able to pause a game if I need to step away for something. Bring the highest order of thought Berserk was overly dark, to be honest. I mean, I think as far as I know, that's by design. Performance, high frame rate, low fidelity, balance between fidelity and frame rate, high fidelity, low frame rate. I will go for balance then. Capius, it is not food time. Shush. Half an hour. On the nose. On the nose. Um, audio, there we are. Last volume. Oh, that's so much better already. There we are. Controls. What the fucking bollocks is primary attack's triangle? Why is dodge L1? At the very last, or at least, yeah, I'm going to go primary is square and secondary act is triangle because that's more natural to me. I spotted that, Jesus. General blood color, black or red? Oh, nice. Additional gore tutorials, you know, sadly, yeah. Oh. Not having good out for, say, Grimdark, which is what Berserk feels like. In fairness, I'm actually struggling to think of a setting that isn't Grimdark just for being Grimdark. Jesus Christ, five difficult levels, okay. That sounds like I played more with the Seven Acolytes, Bullshit Souls. Um, it's like. Anyway, way to level up is by defeating the first uh, major boss, but as you see two bosses in the game on your way, really confusing. His hitbox can damage you, and your parries need to be perfect, and sometimes it doesn't see what can be parried. So it's like Souls like. It's a type being X for me with square beam, block, circle beam, jump, and triangles for special stuff. See, for me, X is um, jump. Like the, bo the bottom character button has always been jump for me. Human, focus on the story and enjoy a mild combat experience. Initiate, play Solstice facing a reasonable challenge. Knight, fo face arduous battles or put your skill to the test. Chimera, prove yourself worthy and master the game as a battle hardened veteran. I need to complete all the chapters of the Knight for that. Transcended, relinquish your humanity and fulfill your true potential. I'm going to regret this, we're going on Knight difficulty. Oh, the fact they're showing me the entirety thing, the entire thing here is, um, <laughs> mm. There is an angle, so you don't know where he is, and it's not just a man, but it will escape you. Oh, well. Uh. Torrent, hello, Mark, you want to remove the meat suit? Uh, I forget which one that is. I think that's the small one for 10 minutes. Let's have a mic one. Give me two seconds. Uh, yep. Hey, I didn't actually need to do anything. 
Oh, it says continue. I thought it was just going to... I'm going to take a loose action, jump, interact. That's fine, but oh, good God. Evocation field, banishment field. L1 being dodge is going to fuck me up. It really is. In the beginning, the world was subjugated by chaos. Is this Solstice or Final Fantasy? Then, the Keepers came to be Torchbearer, Shaper, and Judge. Sus. The three fought the spawn of chaos, and ultimately, they prevailed. Chaos could be banished. But it could not be destroyed. So the keepers weave the veil with their own. That's the question is yes. And stood guard. See, here's the thing that I'm glad they don't do. I'm glad they provide you with a default control layout. Because if any game came up and was like, hey, set your own controls, my brain would just be, what? Um, no. Representing chaos, the Titanic can never be destroyed. You try and tell that to the Imperium of Man. They won't believe you. They'll pull you a heretic and kill you. But all night would eventually hear the call from beyond the veil. Thus it happened that, alongside light, death also came to the world. The great cycle was set in motion. Yet chaos hungered for more, and sought to undo the keeper's creed. Mood would have eaten too much shiny, that guy in red. The spawn of chaos struck, wounding the keepers and tearing the veil. There's a difference between chaos as they know it's in true primordial chaos. Again, try telling that to them, they won't believe you. And so came the source Chaos and evil is just chaotic. Oh yeah, I'm great. I'm, I'm, I'm the person who in my... In pretty much any D and D campaign I'm in, I always say to the DMs like, "Hey, do you mind if you know we put in this slight amendment as you know Tiamat isn't an evil dragon deity; she's actually just chaotic, and Bahamut is law. So rather than good and evil, it's law and chaos. And so you know, it sounds more like a balanced thing. Because what are the things of good and evil to dragons um, of that amount of power?" Really? Yeah. It's like why I had my chaotic good paladin who worshipped Tiamat. It worked. I've also completely kind of <laughs> tuned out of the lore on this. There's more of a lore dump in this intro than there is in most Souls likes. This is a bit of a KPS, 20 minutes. Yes, wait, 20 minutes. That which is immortal is bound to be reborn. Now that you're talking for your contribution to the Dragon and Fox stream challenge. Ooh, smashy. Entire Kingdom in one of my games where Tiamat and Bahamut basically consist of squabbling married couple. Well, I saw those teeth. Yeah, it was. Make a video contribution to the Dragon Fox stream challenge. Got dragged into Far Fast Volcano 2 and cool. In fairness, I was surprised you weren't in that the whole time. Don't be too enthusiastic. Someone here is more than eager to welcome us. Cool. Okay, Berserk Sword. Oh, okay. Hello. If we survive, we might find all oh, right, okay. Okay, this is this is giving me Bayonetta vibes just from the end opening. Oh, that's a lot. Oh. Okay, yeah, this is very much more Bayonetta type than I was thinking it was going to be. Oh, Jesus. Um, I'm not so much sure if this is Souls like or not. <laughs> it's logic of incest. Okay, so far, I'm liking this. And yeah, this opening is very Bayonetta. Huh? 
I'm sorry, what the fuck was that and how did I do it again? Oh, okay. That is very difficult to tell whether it's actually, actually an enemy up there or whether it is... Oh god. Stained glass window because it seems to be animated differently. Or it could just be because of the colours. That reminds me of a mix of Bayonetta and Far Fantasy 13 2. Oh, having played 13 2, I wouldn't um, get that part, but it's definitely Bayonetta inspired. Not a bad thing. Bayonetta was alright. Oh god, oh god. I do get the feeling this is one of those things that this is showing me at full power and then it's going to be taken away from me. Yeah, done better. That's a bit of a comparison. I think this was basically Devil May Cry, only slightly different and... Mm, for me, better, but also could be better as well. Oh, okay, I've gone into... Well, for the lack of actual name of it, I've gone into Devil Trigger mode. You can definitely see the Berserk influences in this one. Oh, God. Well, those seats. <laughs> It's spirit is for the just used. Breach of and the sword. No play player, so I'll watch an L play every once got rotated halfway through. The weird thing for me is that Bayonetta is just so highly sexually charged, it is literally the only game that I've seen which actually makes me get turned off slightly. I was like, what, what the Okay, then. Well, that was an introduction and a half. Say me because it felt like 90% of the law was just boobs. Yeah, the game was just so highly sexually charged and everything. It's just like, eh, eh. It got old very quickly. And there we are, yeah. Earlier on. Have we got some very wet? Don't mind boobs, indeed often like such things but in moderation. Yeah, I, I don't know why, but for me... Oh, she's, she's using her sword as a paddle. Is it? Oh no, it is actually just a paddle. It's the angle. Yeah, it's just... For me, Bayonetta was too much. Because I know about Bayonetta, legs, some kind of time, which the long legged Kirby. Kirby? No? Who were around the boobs to help her give an idea of fully fleshed out world? I mean, there is, but there's still just too much focus on the sexuality of it. Although, to be fair, when I was watching Mori play through Bayonetta 2, we came up with the idea that essentially the Bayonetta is asexual, and that just made it so much more tolerable that she's, you know, acting sexualized around all these people. It's like, yeah, actually, now I really don't actually care. You could play as long as like Kirby. That sounds like a mod because I played Bayonetta to completion on every difficulty level and there was no long legged Kirby. This is our chance to prove ourselves. We can't waste it. Anyway, we're late. Can you sense the others? The echo of the dead is just too strong. It stops my senses. Loot, you need to focus. Sixteen minutes. 
Oh, sorry, 14 minutes. Oh, time to put the meat suit back on. Let's look for our observer. Why drop the ore into the water while it's into the boat? Sure. Oh, oh, okay. Um, oh, that's more... Was activated by some kind of code. All right, so a char it's a character skin or a like a cheat code sort of thing. But yeah, let me do my drugs. Um, I've just you know, played the game on all the difficulty levels. And, yeah. I also streamed it and didn't have the best time. Hey, P.S. Couldn't see about you. There's a chaotic visage from the in the shape of those side because of the enhanced capability of Slash and Knight. Let's spend them to increase Briar's abilities. Red orbs. Welcome back, Komoto. Give Kitty more Kitty Kitty. He won't. That's the problem. If I try to pick it up now, he'll dash away because he thinks I'm um, giving him food. You will Kitty. Yeah, that's that's Capius for you. Sex jump. I would he make it that? For sure. Plus, I'm following you. That's loot. Some kind of strange spirit. Like, I don't know. The only thing I've gotten about this game is fighting. He knows the thoughts, Kitty. Yes, he's he's been he's been manipulative as well. He's being it's a person way it talks. Yeah, it's a spirit. We better get used to the idea. Can't jump over the fences, even though there's that below. Okay. Is this where I'm supposed to be going, or am I just getting extra stuff for being here? See, this game controlling you and handling a bit more like a Devil May Cry game. Excuse me. Having L1 as dodge makes a lot more sense as to why they did it. Had it been L1 to dodge and been a Souls-like format, you know, pure Souls-like, don't think it would have worked as well. Judge too vaguely instead of being on the fence about it wants clear answers. I can't say. It's bound to begin somewhere, sometime. Doesn't also um, want to measure to um, register when I actually click the um, stick to activate sprint mode at times. So in fairness, that could just be my controller starting to die. Which wouldn't surprise me. I've gone through enough of them. Oh, Ashes of Fallen Chimera. In the darkest hour, Chimera can find inspiration in this memento of those who came before. If you've been defeated, use this item to get back into the fray. 
I mean, it functions the same as a gold orb. At least it doesn't look like one. Saw so Lady you know, Naked Thighs. Like, yeah, yeah, that's Naked Thighs. Well, Naked Thigh on her left leg, at least. So, yo. Know, naked right arm, naked left um, thigh. So, yeah, very anime inspired. I mean, in fairness, looking at her, there's also a fair amount of Berserk reference going on. It's way to revive. Let's see how um, necessary it, pro it proves to be. Imagine living in such a crowded city. A place like this is a feast for wraiths. You got the hydro reminder, DJ. Crack open a new bottle flap. Nice right, stabby stab stab. You know these things are never done. And with um, thoughts towards um, practicality like that. So I was like, ah, oh, yes, look, my left arm has got armor across it. This is what this means I can, you know, take attacks. Like, you just use a fucking shield. Stop being so afraid of <laughs> using shields. Mm, I'm tagged. Oh. We are Shields are very useful. They are. I don't want the game to be stupidly realistic. There are games out there like that, and they're just really not fun. These broke. They're just people once before they became corrupted. Call this the judge's mercy, then. I'm sorry, I didn't request a bop. My sword is called the Ashen Vindicator. It's like about shaggy armor and gloom. Let's go as about gaming black vibes. Shields, but my aesthetic. Lose able to defend the briar from most enemy attacks. When you see the targets that. Oh, I see. Press circle to react to the incoming blow. The most basic counter loot conformance is a slow counter. It's action briefly freezes time around the enemy, and the briar to move away and avoid the attack. Over the course of the journey, loot will be able to slow down stronger enemies as well. Timing is crucial. Your reflexes influence the outcome of loot's defensive actions. If your reaction is too slow, you'll miss the counter opportunity and Briar will be exposed to the attack. If your reaction is quick enough, you'll perform a perfect counter. Be careful not to press circle when no enemy is attacking you, or loot will be distracted when you need her the most. It's going to be added to your aesthetic, though. Just thinking of the Dark Souls door shield. Must be done in a fun way, like exp expectation and subversion. Well, then it's not realistic. That's the problem. <laughs> it's only one that, like, this, you'll die, but yeah, revive in a ridiculous manner or something. It's not realistic. There was no icon on that. Ah, oh, that is. Oh, okay. A little bit. No. That counter is actually quite generous. That's a brain. Okay. Sure. Ratings Bayonetta esque. This game is not afraid of you know wearing its references um out on bold display. This definitely is not what I was expecting. I was expecting to, uh, something like, I don't know. Like Thymacia. For some reason I was thinking this game was going to be um, similar to Thymacia. But it's not. Apius, would you stop making noises like you're being abandoned? Four minutes until you get fed. Vein. I mean, Cobain's a, um, is a souls like. Wait, no, that's exactly what I was thinking of. No, I wasn't expecting Code Vein. I was expecting something more like Thymacia. Like, Code Vein was too. 
to anime. Well, what I was expecting this to be. Oh, that's handy. The counter can be done even against stuff I'm not actively facing or targeting. You know, so you super the assassin lady gets a stutter, he'll stuck in a gap on the pavement of her brass lips. When she gets punched in the face, splinters of her nose blowing get used in her brain, but then it'll make the game. So you throw them and find you, but yes, you heard me. Keep it silly, boy. It makes me vaguely remember it playing through it. I've played the um, the beginning of it, and I quite liked it. Brass lips also can be quite crowded when the symbol is visible in the bottom right corner of the screen. You can use that to remake down your get a clear view of what's going around you. You can dedicate to focus and lock the camera on to the game by pressing the button and change that. Bit boring the first few times. Yeah, realism in games is very boring. Why most people don't go for it? That's the thing, Kelly. Yeah, Kelly's in the other room, suffering slightly, making a mini game. Uh, it seems like, you know, going through um, the... Going through the trouble of coding a minigame that's that intricate and that realistic, but it's only happened a few little bits. I cannot think of many um, games companies that would do that. There's not many games companies that put in enough... Um, um, important dedication to their normal game, <laughs> never mind a minigame. I thought Platinum was going to be the highest thing, but no, apparently Diamond is the highest. There. Here I was thinking I got maximum rating on a, um, on my first fight. No, no. I got sub-maximum. I got maximum on my second fight. Because of Grace and Nolan did the whole Diane Cade. Oh yeah, but you know, putting million games into a game is not a bad thing, but putting in a mini game where it's just ultra realistic like that, it's a lot of work. It's the version thing you could do, when you're doing a full length game and then have a character die from getting infection when they twist their ankle. Then the player slapped a medipig eye, but didn't bother cleaning out the wound after 20 minutes. That just sounds like Metal Gear Solid 3. I'm just going shouting at Kelly, Kelly now. I'm just like, that, that is fun. I'm so very glad I don't have um, the <laughs> desire to code any of those things into games. Okay, can't dodge one in midair. It makes sense. But I was wondering how much of that was going to translate. This game feels more like Devil May Cry than Dark Souls. Yeah, I'm gonna say though, it's more Bayonetta than Devil, than Devil May Cry. There's no use in looking behind us, Lude. Like, I don't feel like I need to open up a combo list and memorize most of it just to know how to play the game and not die in combat. Does make the <laughs> yes, yes we do. Kind of looks like the thing that happens in um, Dragon Age Inquisition. The Observer. The sooner we get to him, the better. Hi, Capius. It looks like it is. I mean, to be fair, the one um, Dragon Age does as well. All right. Okay, I'm actually going to go be right back because it is time to feed him now. So I'll be right back in a bit. But first, say hello to Capius. I the fact he just completely flops bonelessly. Okay. 
and then you. Right, be right back. Yeah. I return. Sorry about that. Also had to take out the bins. Ugh. I don't know if my boy Henry Trigger would like me at times. Oh, sorry to hear that. Right, thank you. Also, I've just realised, you know, it says all the lost souls. I brain immediately goes, what's, you know, puts all the lost souls to the tune of all the single ladies? 
I mean, it doesn't work because of the cadence is all wrong, but still, brain went that way. All the bins? Yes, the bins. That seemed unnecessary. Notice his face. Counter deflection, most range attacks can be counter deflection. Counter defense, counter defense, counter defense, charges are going by a low class enemy before prior hit. Of course, Virginia Loot will learn how to avoid range attacks from strong as well. Nice. So, pass the rival age of 15, so the hands will get to find the day before he was put to rest. Nice. So the counter style on this is more um, along the line, sort of. Oh god, why would you? Yeah, this is definitely. Why would you have that as your aerial knock in? Why? Literally, the only thing that that makes sense for is if the. Is if it's set to default controls. I'm just I've got so much stuff on hold shit. I just believe the word to describe it would be Mint Schmeet? That is that word. I don't mind doing the media swap, but now I've had to take as is, feel a deep voting chalk. God. I learned that with one of my meds. Like, I can dry swallow almost any kind of med, but that, um, the one that um, I used to take before all the ones I'm on now, it would stick in my throat, and my good God, would it taste awful. And just be there, um, lingering presence at the back of my throat. Ooh. Challenge the void. On your journey, you come against special portals, interact with them to face a secret challenge that takes place in the special arena, do your best and beat to get a reward. Once a night, void challenges can be replayed from the main menu at any time. God. Bayonetta Alpine portals or secret levels. Slate all enemies. Oh, fuck off. No. 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 You have my interest until, until you said time limit. Fuck off. I don't give a shit. If you give me optional challenges in which it's done through a time limit, I will not do them. You can fuck off. The back up is so big. Oh, not good at all. must perish. That which is immortal is bound to be reborn. But the Shaper had no hand in your creation. Did he, sweet sisters? Who's this dickhead? You're our observer? I change the game um, because he gives me light and love up. I'd say the fuck that, personally. I am Leighton. I am here to assist you. He's got some, got some D DS games named after him. <laughs> How exactly? An observer's talents won't be of much help in this fight. Oh, I fight for the Order of the Ashen Blade in my own way. This is now giving me um, uh, elements of Virgil or... Was it Virgil or some of the demon's name from Darksiders, basically? It's gonna be Supreme Pair vibes. I recognize my voice, I'm. 
Let's look. Sean Devere. I don't think it's this, but it's the same. It's um, who you think it is. He's been in five things, including this. He's been in a podcast series of what happened in Skinner, a movie, sh uh, two movie shorts being Kumquat and Mortuary, and in the TV series Missed Connections on one episode. I'm saying this dude calls his PP Ashen Blade. I mean, that's what my big sword's called. Or well, Ashen something, anyway. My presence here is proof enough of my worth. You, on the other hand, are said to be unstable, unruly, and unwilling to follow orders. Sounds for me, this is amazing. It could be whatever um, effect they've used on uh, his voice to make it sound like he's behind a mask. Our fame precedes us. Why do you taunt us? Your shade is speaking. And to me, how quaint. The only thing that's really made me go, what the fuck in this, is how big Loot's eyes are. Somehow, your authority as an observer is not enough to silence her. What happened here? Like, I'm not, I'm not imagining things. Those eyes are way too fucking large. Especially considering the art style of everything else in the game. Like, her eyes are large for the art style. A tear opened. Clearly. It's causing... There'll be some huge eyes. Yeah, I don't know. Like, okay, in fairness, all we've seen is, you know, the, the enemies so far and, um, Briar. <laughs> Got anime eyes, no. It's training with this dude. But it's the largest yet seen, and I do believe getting larger still. I doubt the order will be able to hide this one from the masses. The masses. Then we can confirm this is not an English-based game. Okay, not stupid. What, Capius? You've been fed! Literally less than 15 minutes ago. Fuck like, yeah. He's been like this, you know, the entire week. And once it was open? Many were corrupted. Others were possessed. What sure what that reaction is to Lydia. They saw to the rest. Don't tell your mum is sick, hack. Okay, just need some rest and recovery. The order did not foresee it this time. A man's face. Yes, yeah, behind a weird mask, but that also the spirit's you eyes. You and your two comrades. I mean, there's so many things that are like, what about this? Like, also the massive scar across her leg. I'm pretty sure that would be fairly Three grievous. At least the Ashen Blade is sparing no effort now. Well, two chimeras and you. So caustic. Where are the others? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was Star Wars vibes. Uh, you are on the council, but we do not recognize you as master. That's the same thing would be the word. I mean, with where it is, and with how wide it is, might even have been deadly. The six lightsabers. What? I'm already trying to go for the femoral artery. Strangely, though, Probably not intentionally, because I don't think um, medical science is that advanced here. You should hurry. Maybe dying came back. I, I think that was Loot's job. 
and help them. Is this if pretty you can. He had four. That was our call anyway. Don't scowl at me. I can offer powerful assistance if you do well. Then let us pray you remain Except they set person to a die. Indeed. May the torchbearer light your way. Mel Cap, I keep saying my Viera, she's too pretty. I can't do anything to help that Lydia, that's just how Viera are. I have at least two of them myself, and it's like, yeah. There's eight sabers, four spears. Nope, four lightsabers. Two arms that split open. He's got four. And that's cool. Viera, the bunnies, yeah. I mean, one of, one of my Viera I've got as a um, uh, Morocco cosplayer from um, My Hero Academia. He is more as in collection, maybe. Yeah, but he only uses four. So sexy bunny in Discord. I saw, it, I saw it on stream. I saw, I saw it being created. Yeah, can confirm. Very, 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 very cute. <laughs> the fact that the, the fact that your um, your daggers still aren't attached to your hips fully is still funny. Bunny people, not actual bunnies, Emoto. And may the shaper grant you fortune in yes. this life. You want to come up and you done belly aching? Two red ones they were stolen and destroyed. Yeah, but with the film, it's just he's got four. And you all uses four. Let's make him want to get back into it again. Better than wow. If that's what you can call it. So it drains around the D20, it is. The freight elevators will take you where you need to go. Just like MMORPG, I'm not gonna play. Huh? Good. Don't have to. No one's done it. No one's forcing you to. But there's still many more context. Context. Um, God, God. So he's wearing today too. Yeah, nice. He's also wearing it on um, the day um, that we had the campaign finale for your um, your thing. Well, I was like, yeah, it's too easily. Yeah, it's fair. No one's, for no one's forcing you to. We really don't have yet to create any Halloween special. Ooh. So I'm playing three years since I first played. Yeah. I will be watching. Okay. New combos and skills. Oh, no. Oh, why do they have to have combos where it's attack, attack, pause? Why pausing in combos? Why can't just auto combo? Uh. Move forward, move forward, square. Square plus ten. Let's see me out. You're right. Mm -hmm. I just want to play games with you guys, but I don't know. You want some time to like Final Fantasy Odyssey? What games can I play with you? Not really certain. I don't play all that many multiplayer games, and the ones that are multiplayer don't have many um, player slots. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't um, do loot thing. Still buy more of those. You make fun of us, but what do you even know about our kind? 
that the order forges the chimeras, much like your big sword. Let us hope you're not brittle or blunt. We're not weapons. We're people. I find that argument quite hard to sustain in your current predicament. You guys know also. Anyway, yeah. each chimera is born of the union of two different souls. And each one that You know what? I Let's I've already spoken too much as is, so we're just gonna carry on. How to find me. So you and Brian know she's putting arms around her. Seems to be quite wholesome. Must be also a bit on the young side. Okay. Okay, that I don't mind as a combo um, notify. Like, I get notified when I've paused at the right time when I need to start attacking again. Uh, so, position steal your chance to help decision make for Halloween special art. Go for it. down there. Possibly, but I can't. No, I can't. What's the there's no, there's no defense or blocking it. It's, it's basically, it's loot countering or you dodging out of it. I haven't been talked about the auras yet either, so still learning stuff. say weapon switch combo as if I've got something to do rather than just a heavy attack version of this weapon. Yeah, the combat in this seems to be a mix of Devil May Cry, well, more Bayonetta than Devil May Cry, and um, we're a bit of Batman. So what Tomoto will do is she'll pose um, uh, questions in the chat with options and people will vote on the options. And left the rest to die. 
That way they'd made sure they'd escape. So Ooh, I see. So they could live. Thing over there. And yet they all died anyway. Come Husk fragments, small pieces of husk possess and large amounts can feed them. Great soon to say. This game really, really does take a lot from the games it references from. It's not being subtle about any of it. Touch of import more than usual, this is not as bad as Twitter. <laughs> I'll go on the path. You mean this path? I mean, I know I'm only in the first level, but playing on hard is not seeming all that much of a challenge yet. That might get thrown completely to the side when I. Then we must rely on our own strength. Why get up there then? Oh well, I think I see. Getting to it. The basic concept, very cute, wholesome character added version, challenge version, respectively, put into Halloween costumes. Example so far have been Baby Shark and Ghost Little One, and put Slavers and Carved Pumpkin for the other one. The theme is intended to be mostly cute and not actually scary. Is this a request for ideas to make, or are you going to present a list of ideas and have votes done on Emoto? Suggest an idea to figure out details of that. Right there. Oh, this is the way I'm supposed to be going, probably, because you know, <laughs> enemies. These guys are a bit faster before I try and count them. Mental against it's a bit separate to us, keep to have much in some ways, not in the sea. It's just by the way, which was the thing, maybe drink could be adorable. Ooh, diamond. 
I'm... My only worry with this, I have exactly one worry with this. It's the trophy list. I'm worried it's going to be a thing of, you know, get, you know, clear every single encounter with diamond rating. So these, these games tend to have those kind of things. I should have looked this way initially because there's not much here. Like, literally the only bad thing I've got to say about this is I'm worried about um, the trophy list. Because, yeah, it's, it is more like bayonets. Like, yeah, there's combos. You don't necessarily have to use them, though. You can just pretty much button mash, because out of the five difficulties, this is the middle one, and uh, I'm button mashing uh, mostly. Torchbearer lies our way. That is the longest trophy title I've seen for a while. We chapter one. That was chapter one. Yeah, screw it. Let's go and have a look at the trophies. 0.1% platinum. Oh dear. Um. So those are like. So that is. Yeah. You know, that that is the storyline. I'm guessing those trophies. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven chapters. Not too bad. Complete the game on night. Chimera transcended. Upgrade health to maximum. Entropy to maximum. More hidden stuff. Purchase all skills. More hidden stuff. Drum one half health in a fight without using consumable items. Complete one chapter on any difficulty obtaining diamond. We want chapter on night or higher difficulty without being hit once. Complete the game on initiate difficulty of obtaining platinum or above. Complete the game on. There we go. Complete the game on three different difficulties, obtaining a platinum overall or or better. At least the home points of both is fight. I don't think I'm going to be getting platinum on this game. I don't. I like it, but I don't think I'm going to be getting it. One percent completion rate, boy. No, that's not completion rate. That is how many of the trophies I've gotten. Actual um, completion rates. That's not what I'm wanting. That's a bad trophy tracker. 44.9% people have done it. 0.1% of people have platinumed it. I can see why. Battles. Platinum diamond, platinum, platinum diamond. Challenges and upgrades done. Platinum total score diamond. Total time bronze. I really, really dislike games that judge me on time spent. I really do. Overall gold, though, I suppose. And pass. Brian loot me reach um, Ildenmere Bridge, the main route in the city, or what remains of it? Shop. 10,000 to get a um, health increase. There's four of those. And entropy as well. I wonder in the assistance options. That's the thing. In the game assist, it doesn't say anything about not not working with um, higher difficulties, and higher difficulties don't seem to say anything about turning the assist options off. That's actually kind of cool. Let's see. You know what? I'll t I will take proficiency. I will take a passive bonus to a weapon type or attack type over a combo any day of the week. Yeah, I, I don't do combos. I just don't. Skills? 
Why skills? Oh, proficiency three has now been unlocked. Oh, okay. Interesting. There's no proficiency open for normal one. The Ashen Vindicator. And lewd seals are still locked. So our chapter. Hole's going for a rave, apparently. I won't. Not again. Oh. Okay. Damn. <laughs> that thing. The sky butthole. Sister, talk to me. Are you alright? Yes, despite my weakness. That power was immense. It's not your fault. Then whose fault is it? You saw. I almost. Scales. If I gave into the corruption inside me, you'd be lost. I won't allow it. What is with those jaw animations, though? You resisted. No other chimera could have done that. No other chimera with a damn corrupted as a knight, you mean? Sister. Was why is this guy ass? Yeah, despite it keep coming up. In other words, there's a boss over there. Most of MMD animations. It was like a scream in my head. Sister. Top of my head. But then all of a sudden, they were gone. Yep. Good part of the boss in the face. It will be interesting to see how this game does boss fights. Like that is that is going to be, I feel, the marker of the game's difficulty is what boss fights are like. Miku Miku dance? Okay, yeah, that that clarifies nothing to me. For good, I wager. We might be the only ones left to fight it. The young god. We may have to deal with that sooner or later. It's a fair. The only Miku I know in theme about is, like, is Hatsune Miku, and it's like, I know very little about Hatsune Miku, and I, I consider even that small amount that I know to be too much. Cheap animation on YouTube, most of them. Hmm. Oh wait, no, there it, there is air dodging. She's not even dodging, she's actually just going for a punch in here. That is well. It's that Miku. Ah. Then I will stay as ignorant as I currently am. Animations, vocalists, dance, and songs. Uh, yep, definitely will stay willfully ignorant of that then. But worse. Or TTZ character models. TTT stands for. You say TikTok teens like I can't actually ever use TikTok. Ethereal resident from the tear. It bears the taint of the corruption. <sighs> Evocation field. Luke can interact with ethereal objects that do not belong in the physical world, such as cobalt veins. 
You press L2 to loot to activate the evocation field, causing a theory of objects and vicinity to manifest. Keep the evocation field active when it's loot out to cause the entropy to increase. However, loot entropy decreases if you hit in the theory object whilst in the evocation field. For any reason, loot entropy reaches the maximum level, she enters a state of overcharge and the hapless to the that she is not going to use her powers. However, she will be back by the bright side in a few seconds. Okay. Gary's mod even TT sends trouble in Terrace. I have also interacted with very little Gary's mod and I'm quite happy to keep it that way. We can shatter them if we work together. Let me focus my energy. Okay, what's here, Residue? Blue's going to be. Ah, loot power increased stuff. Cool. Um. Oh, it's a toggle, not a hole. Right. The concept's over bars. Do you like old time sci fi movie futurists? Right. Nice. Do you want to hurt my computer? <laughs> Is that what caused it to go to need to go to the shop ride? Was it Gmod? Do I need to get you into a courtroom situation? <laughs> show a list, show a load of apps. Which one of these hurt your computer? TTT is a sign he has been around for 17 years. I don't even know it. It's such a hard drive. Unity. Unity represents the connection between Brian and Loot. The higher you know, harmony, the greater the efficiency as they fight together. Indicating the upper right corner of the screen shows the level of Brian and Loot's unity, so check it off during a battle. As you fight, you can gain or lose unity. Offense and defense are both involved in the process. So if you combine Brian's loot's abilities, increase the unity, or being hit or knocked back causes it to decrease. Raise unity to the highest level and execute the ferocious assault combo with the action vindicated to unleash a devastating synergy attack. Okay, you can unleash the Cool. That's going to keep the unity level high. Oh, that's hard meat to keep up. I just realized what that mechanic reminds me of, and I don't like it. Reminds me of the style meter from Devil May Cry, and I do not like that mechanic whatsoever. ever. Just a fun year, so you can prank a sign android, no problem. This is the interface. This Yeah, I don't want the Unity system. 
I don't know, it, it feels too much like um, the style rating system from uh, Devil May Cry and um, Bayonetta. I, mm. I don't know, it just doesn't... I never liked to do Devil May Cry. It's like, oh yeah, you're shit at this. Like, the enemies are dead and I'm alive, aren't I? Okay, I'm about to say this conversation. I don't mean it's close for that. That was awful. Talk about Torium. Decision vote, which one? Who's going where? Which outfit? A little one or adult? Frankenstein's monster or, an and or android? You heard, you heard, Tomato. All this death, gods, peasants, it didn't matter who they were. It mattered. The gods sealed the gates, trapping the people inside. They tried to contain the corrupted. Slip a coin. That defeats the purpose of why Emote is asking these questions. Secret area. Little secret. Ooh. Little bit of extra cobalt residue. Or something like that it just feels like you pick one for the coin for it for me. I mean, you know, if you want to provide the the input, you can flip the coin and tell the decision. The destruction caused by the Braves here. It reminds me of Hans has been doing cobalt. Three lip gloss on after getting out of the shower and cage. You can't see it's the lip gloss. Is awful. Was it cobalt? All this over to the side, you can't go, but. Yeah. To with the other then we must rely on our own strength. It'll be more awesome than you got marking and keeps his There. It's another one. Use the cobalt soul monk path. It doesn't know saying cobalt soul is like birth of cobalt. Then we got soul monk. Oh, God. I mean, that's to be understood. Americans don't like pronouncing the letter T or H. Okay, okay. 
Yeah, I guess I do. But not, but not A's apparently. Okay. Why that split him in half, but not his loincloth, I don't know. Something that's been prevented by him being executed at all. Disruption counter interrupts a low class enemy before it can act over the course of changing the shit. Other than that, you know, that thing is. That thing has a health bar! Okay, he hits. He really hits hard. Well, he hits hard in comparison to anything else. Also, really, really need to get out of the way. What's that? Alright, yeah, now I'm starting to see where the difficulty is. I always look slightly bigger enemy to, um... To show it, but it's not too bad still. There was not a counter indicator on that one. Hmm, dodge isn't all that intuitive either when it's under pressure. It's better than some souls like I've played though. I think Vespa is incredible too. You know, they have an Android bit, so it tends to be more than it's nice. We need to do disruption mechanic, man. They weren't letting me use the disruption mechanic. Every time I press the counter button, it it froze them in time. It didn't disrupt. I'm not quite sure what the game was wanting out of me there. Now I'm going to refund that because I don't have any water in the kettle and I don't think I'm going to be streaming for all that much longer. Hey, please feel better. I appreciate it. I'm going to be going to go to the end of this chapter and then that's why I'm going to be ending things. Because I feel I've been talking a lot and my throat's starting to feel it and I don't want to undo all the progress that's been made with um, healing. On frame the elements of your stream. Yeah, go for it. Sister, a powerful aura. It left traces like an echo. What was it? The ripples of the loot to did have a trace of the echo once each user has a chance to use the echo traces. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Never seen the knights acting like this before. Me neither. Whatever's in there must be really valuable. You try to steal it then. I'm staying here. Whatever it is, it feels like the judge's breath on my neck. Shut up, they'll hear you. Soldiers! The next one of you who speaks will be flogged. The one after that will be hung. The one after that, courted. Have I made myself clear? Good. Extreme? Soldiers of the Order, they were afraid. Easy now, easy. Not my choice to come this way, is it? I like it no more than you do. Settle down. Even the animals were restless. They could sense the danger too. This echo is so vivid. The dead are screaming all around us. But this cuts through it all. It left a deep scar on the ether. That scares me the most. Halt! In the name of the Triarchy and the Shining City of Ilden. The Ashen Blade. Huh. What is your business here? We carry a gift. From the Grand Master of the Order to the High Clergy of Ilden. Is that all? We are expected at the Cathedral of Guiding Light. We had no advance notice of your arrival. You can't just show up and... Our papers speak for themselves. Here. I found this way of, um... If you care for um, giving story job up. ...and your worthless life. Just let them in! It's not worth dying for! F -f fine uh, Good, good, sir. Uh, of course. You may pass. May the torchbearer light your way. Well, this is the City of Light, is it not? Now I understand. The aura I feel. The one that left this echo. It came from inside that armored carriage. Oh, I ain't good. Can you tell me what was inside? I can't see inside. The carriage is lined with something. It's dulling my perception, so this was done on purpose. Oh. By someone who knows the Order, who knows its secrets. You mean... us? The Chimeras? I think so. That carriage is at the heart of whatever happened here. Then we have to find it. And soon, whatever it's doing here might not be finished. How far was it? Oh, there we are. Witness the first echo. Where is that place? Oh, okay. There's less than 11 chapters then, apparently, unless that's also the end of chapter two for that. This time challenge because they didn't give you enough time and spots to the tracks make video. This is one of the time challenges why I'm still doing because I'm oh, about useful. Ah. Uh -uh. See, personally, that doesn't seem. The frustration doesn't seem worth it to me. Oh. Also, it's gotten very dark here, which is why my um, camera's gone to shit. Thank you. 
banishment field, corruption spares across the hills and causing formation of crystalline influence. You press the hydrogen bubble and fear the banishment field, causing crystalline subdivision, bring them back to balance attacks. Let's get an extreme PK, skin chain, so it's straight overcharged, because I actually could. Alright, okay. Alright, both. We need to get past it. We just need to get past the sword and spirit. Sister, let me help. We can do this. Ah, oh, bollocks. Yeah, it's actually really nice. That's a bit creepy. New enemy or a boss? Oh! Supposed to look like to the shape from chaos itself with the objects. Oh, okay. Interesting, interesting. Hundreds must have come through the tear. I like this uh, this unique mechanic. It's very different to anything I've seen. Okay, this game's getting a little bit more on the extensive side. Okay. Need something else. Is that one of the secret um, challenge portal things? On the fight, require them to count perfect count. Perfect count and slay all enemies before the time. I was like, yeah, no, fuck that. Actually, jump that distance. What is this? We can't pass through here. No, there is a way. I feel it. Oh, another thing for using that field. Completely missed the jump.
Mother load. <laughs> Mother loads, of course. It's possible, though, okay. So all this thing, literally just so I could. Get those. It looks like. Jesus Christ. There's the, there I was thinking I was advancing, but no, they went for a special bonus um, sidetrack. Ah. Whatever says is agree with. Well, well, that's where I think I'm gonna end it. This game over counts as chapter over as well in my book. So yeah, oh good god, I've gone purple. That's to be to be fair. There's now no lighting in this hall because it's dark. So yeah, so. That's all I'm going to be doing today. Thank you all very much for coming along for your support. So really appreciate it, and whatever you chose and show it. Uh, next stream should be tomorrow at uh, 11 a.m. EST, which is 4 p.m. BST, where I'll be going back to Amnesia Rebirth. And after that, then Lydia will be hosting the Monster Hunter Rise Community Night. And yeah. yeah. Thank you for being here for the comeback stream. I'm glad I'm feeling a lot better because having that whole week of just feeling like shit was not fun. Um, until next time though, thank you all very much again for coming along and until then, have yourselves a good rest of your day, a good night, a good evening, a good morning, or a good afternoon. A lot of time is for you. Until then, stay safe, stay amazing, and see you later. Bye!